I got a lot of requests to talk about Savage Studios. I'm surprised a lot of people are DMing me about this. He had around 15,000 subs and was controversial due to being a dropout. A dropout is a gang member who willingly leaves his gang or does something like snitch, steal from a fellow member, not pay dues, and his other controversy was being over the top, disrespectful. It wasn't like he was just clowning people. There was somebody named Named Big JD and I guess his kids died and Savage Studios disrespected them. He disrespected dead children and of course he disrespected dead opposition. People who knew Savage Studios said that he was the type of guy who liked to run his mouth, he talked too much, and he liked to create problems. Unfortunately, I know a lot of people like this that'll say things like that on Instagram, and you just know sooner or later they're going to get rolled up on. You can't just create a name by starting problems with people, especially gang members. GBO Gaston is probably the best example of this. It's mostly in the name of clout because you're not going to make money with 15,000 subscribers. Now that he's dead, I'm seeing tons of comments saying they wish it happened sooner. Now that's disrespectful. He was killed while getting a tattoo. The guy was clearly really into tattoos. And some of what I'm saying is speculation because the paperwork is not out yet. But if you're affiliated with the gang, that's one thing. You're more likely to see a problem. You're more likely to be in danger. It's way worse when you have a name. And it's even way worse when you're a dropout. It never surprises me when somebody dies in their hometown. It could have been that somebody recognized him, recognized his car, just went in and popped him. Or it could have been more calculated. His opposition could have been planning this, just waiting for him to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. He had made posts on TikTok at his tattoo shop, so his ops probably knew exactly where he was. Now let that be a lesson for safety. If you mock dead people on the internet, don't let people know where you hang out. Actually, just don't mock dead people, period. Rest in peace, Savage Studios. Shout out to his family.